BigLloyd.com. Let's look at uh, the noise level of the Sony A7R5 sensor, what you can do about it, and um, why it, and just ask a few questions. Um, I've got two images that I processed here. One is the original the RAW, the other is processed the Adobe Camera RAW Enhanced Details with AID noise. What I want to first do though is look at the actual exposure in RAW Digger, which I strongly recommend. Here's our shot. It's at ISO 64. There was exposure compensation of negative two-thirds stop over here. And um, what that means is it's basically ISO 100 with no ex with plus zero. It, this is exactly what the camera would meter at ISO 100 with no exposure compensation. So this is not an underexposure. This is what your camera would give to you. The fact that I shot it at ISO 64 and had it two thirds of a stop under is well, it was probably my it was my mistake, but it's it's ISO 100 at plus zero is what it really is. There's no overexposure over here. There's there's very little underexposure. You can see there's uh, some shadow areas. So this is a good this is a good solid exposure. And if we look at the histogram, you can see the green channel 16,000 is the maximum. It's just beyond 8,000. So this this thing could have taken about one more stop of exposure which is pretty much what the camera will auto, me auto meter at. You're almost always about to stop underexposed. Uh, that's just the way the camera tends to error. And uh, you gotta pay attention to your histogram as I discussed in a prior video. So we ha this is a, a pretty much a typical solid exposure. So what you're gonna see next with respect to noise is a very fair presentation of what the noise is gonna look like. So. Uh, let's um, so we look, if we look at the whole scene, no one no one would argue this is a dark exposure. It's pushed pushed eight tenths of a stop in raw processing. Let's take a look at that. Um, here's the here's the conversion dialogues. I'm, I'm sorry, it pushed one stop in raw processing. That corresponds to the underexposure we just saw. And you know, there's nothing too fancy going on here. Um, just my standard processing. So back in Photoshop here, I've got two things layered. I've got the, the, the plain RAW file, and then I've got the one with enhanced details, Adobe Camera Raw enhanced details. And let's take a look at uh, how they compare. First of all, you see the histogram here shows us that we have, a, a per, this is like a poster child perfect histogram for an RGB image. Uh, this, this is exactly what you'd wanna see. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in here. And uh, let's take a look at what the noise level looks like here. This is that um, actual pixels, but I'm gonna zoom in, make it a little easier for you guys to see. It's also a retina display, so. And if you look at this image, what, you, what you'll see here is uh, a very fine graininess, graininess um, permeating the image. In fact, that's the plain image, and now you see it's gotten kind of chunky. I'm gonna go in a little farther here. So. There's our, there's our graininess with the plain image. If I use the enhanced version, you'll see that a lot of the chunky noise goes away. A lot of the, particularly most of what's going on here is those, if you can see them in this video, there's some color modeling. Um, it's like reddish and you know, more like magenta green speckling junky, icky stuff. And in the enhanced version here, it has pretty much gotten rid of that. So it's not exactly noise free but it's a lot less that's before standard raw file this is the enhanced one so enhanced is definitely giving us a big boost but what's a little surprising here is just how noisy it is this is i would be, it's iso 64 two-thirds of a stop under which is iso 100 with no exposure compensation exactly what the camera metered and that's how noisy a sky we get and this isn't even a particularly dark sky that's a, like a mid uh, mid luminance sky. So if we look at the red channel here, that's command three in Photoshop, and we toggle off on, uh, on I mean the denoised one. So it's on, off. You can see it's pretty chunky looking in the, that red channel. Uh, proves in the, in with denoise, de off, on. Okay, and how about the green channel? Off, on, off, on. And then the blue channel off on 
So you can see that in all three channels, we've got pretty su darn substantial noise. Um, this is and this is at you know this is as good exposure as you're going to get, and it's surprisingly high. And so I would argue that if you're not using Adobe Camera Raw um, enhanced details with AI denoise setting of 10, you're really making a big mistake with your images because this is as good as it's going to get unless you expose it a little more. And if you're at ISO 200, 400 on up, it's going to be a lot worse. And you know this is a, not a, not just confined to blue sky. You can see over here in these clouds, there's a whole bunch of ugly color speckling going on here. It's actually very surprising. So that's without, and then on. You watch, you see all that color crap. It's just like garbage over the image, and with enhance, it disappears. So this gets your image up to a much higher quality level. Maybe over here in the clouds, you can see. Uh, if you look in this area, there's a lot of fake, non-real color, well, especially d down in this area. So enhanced, poop, cleans that stuff up. So the real question here I have is, why are we seeing this? I mean, um, and if you look, by the way, it looks a little streaky here. There's something that's not looking real great to my eyes. The noise actually, <laughs> one benefit of the noise is it actually kind of masks the streakiness. So here's the enhanced. To my eye, there's some horizontal streaky effects going on here that when you don't enhance, uh, clean up the noise, the noise actually helps to mask that stuff. So so the question I have here, being a, also a Fujifilm GFX 100 shooter and 100S and uh, recently shot the 100 too, is why are we seeing so much noise? Because I don't see this, I'm not seeing this noise in this Fujifilm sensor. I, I just, I'm not, it, Look at all this. It's just magenta and green crap all over the place. I really, I'm really, i not sure I understand what's going on here. In theory, the sensors are the same technology and uh, it's exactly the same size pixels. So if you expose them the same way, you should get the same noise. Um, but I haven't done an A-B test. You know, it's possible that maybe if I expose the Fujifilm, it, it'd meter 250th and it, there's, it's doing something different. But ISO 100 is supposed to be ISO 100. So I don't have an answer there until I can, um, maybe can do a A-B comparison. What I do want to point out is when we enhance this image, um, again, I've got it a little blown up here. This is, that's actual pixels, but it's a retina display. So it's not, it's blown up and it's not really blown up, so to speak. So here's an intermediate. Um, so when I toggle these on and off, can you see any difference in the tree chunk? It might be hard to see. There's very little difference except that the enhanced one there produces a little bit edgier, bitier detail. Look down in this stuff. So without, with, uh, the video probably won't show it. Just gets a little more crisp. The point is, we're, we're, it's a little better enhanced for detail like this wood, but um, it doesn't decline because we've done this, that low level of ADI, ADI noise, and yet we're getting a much cleaner sky, you know, without even, even right there, you can see chunky, Pretty coarse looking. There we go. Denoised without with. So I think you really want to do this um, denoise business. So just as a reminder, um, here's our dialog, and it, you're going to right click on it, pick enhance, and it'll see. Uh, you don't have to denoise it, but you want raw details. Don't do super resolution. That sucks and then click denoise and I think 10 is an excellent setting so that's just a quick reminder how to do it all right so th that's what I'd strongly suggest you use and why the Sony image quality is this low at ISO at ISO 64 or ISO 100 I don't know it's pretty weird